over at Fireball, folks, and basically we got a better show on the 10th this evening than we did on the 9th, and basically uh, this is what we got going on on the live radar on 10, 11 in the AM hours, okay? And we go to uh, the 9th. The evening and the 9th, and just scroll down through these because basically, and I was trying to see what we got for a closest orbit. That's a way the hell out. So basically, check out this. This is kind of cool because that's a way out 250 AU distances of the sun. Okay, that's a way they flip out there. So then we go ahead and we go back, and that's you can see that. And that's pretty pretty awesome there. Now I got loaded up from when you can see Draconia is pretty darn good. Local asteroid belt. The closest thing we got right now. Draconius has been getting some pretty awesome views. So this one here, when I go back to Asgard, was under an IU. Okay, you see the IU there, the 839. Point 839. Okay. This one here shows up pretty large and you get Draconius a little bit. But this is the deal is, is when you see Draconius on this night here, that uh, that's why you can just basically see it in that little shot there. And that, that big bugger there is four distances away of the sun to the earth. So 4.093 IU. <coughs> and you don't see Draconius that darn good in that because basically what I'm going to do is bring you over to the... Uh, it's doing a lot of action on this one here. As you see, sorry about that. I didn't mean to flick up like that. Here we go. Come on. What in the world? Come on. Scoot. As you can see, it's doing a lot of action on this one here. And we're having some fun with the uh, slider not wanting to work with a hell because... Because, because, just because, and it's not just because, but they want me to say that tons and tons. SCADA, Supervisor Control and Data Acquisition, know it very well. Okay, so as soon as you start recording your videos, Big Brother's in there. So now let's go ahead and take a look at what uh, Draconis looks like on the 10th. We get a lot of action tonight on the 10th, and you can see Draconis here, and basically we're going to show that basically Jupiter should be what's showing stuff off but when you look at the sky and you see what we got right here that's not Jupiter okay but Draconis is putting on a hell of a show and let's go ahead and go to this here I got this video loaded up and here you go I think it probably already went by pretty fast or I think I started to freeze it and I'll hit play but as you can see, all these stars, and there it came in, right over to the right-hand side. There it is. Freeze it for you. Oh, oh we're not freezing it, we're playing. There you go. Let you slow down a little bit. There you go. We're able to freeze it. There you go. And Draconis, basically a meteor shower. Very famous and doing a very good, awesome job tonight on the 10th. And like I say, on the 6th, I think it was, I showed you the first real good details of all this. And we can... Take another look there because basically it shows up again here and these ones here. And most of these are pretty much way the heck out. Click out of a lot of these so I know that when I pull up my data, I'm going to be pulling up what I'm looking at. And we'll give you a, an orbital on. Let's take a look at this one here since it had a pretty good tail on it so we will try to pull that orbital on that up 
and basically that was 45 all, 45 and a half all you out and you see draconius really good in that one shot there and this shot here and i did pull up the latin launch basically that was basically shooting from alabama and this is what's in the sun or i mean in the sky right now is jupiter okay but at the time now this is at the, my central standard time now of 4:03 a.m okay so that's uh 5:03 a.m central i mean eastern standard time folks i'm on central standard time there so the actual factual that those shots were taken at like uh let's go ahead and go do it again and you should be able to see it uh it was like 10 something all you i mean uh da, 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 it was 10 something utc time so i just basically pick up an orbital again on basically the one below it which is going to be showing us that it was at 12.18 minutes 39 seconds <coughs> utc time so basically eight hours off of that you're looking at that shot is at so this one here was an hour ago or actually two hours ago because idea this was taken at like three uh eastern time so and it's about 505 eastern time now so and basically to be exact it was like 3 18 Because basically there's eight hours difference from UTC time on that one there. So that was the latest one. And that's the last asteroid comet that's come flying by out of this Draconius. And basically uh, just the, the moon. So here's your location on those cameras and everything like that. <clears throat> and that's what we have in the sky now. But Jupiter would have been a little bit farther to the east. All right. Would have been a little bit farther east. So basically you are getting everything here from Alabama, Pine Ridge. And Draconius put on a pretty good show because basically it's getting illuminated up pretty good, probably from the sun and the supergiants and <clears throat> the, the light coming off of Jupiter because Jupiter is so damn large. And it gives us a pretty good shot of the Draconius asteroid meteor shower so and there was a lot of stuff going by the sun today too so I watched the video before this and showed you some action of cme action back on the i believe it the ninth or the eighth i was able to get some footage from I believe it was the eighth so and we can hit play and watch this one come by and there it is So Fireball's giving us some great looks at Draconius. All that there and all everything pretty much out there because we've got this big triangulation here. And it's pretty pretty, pretty dramatic. Should have been a good night to go out and see it. Pretty much you got to get up at like 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to start seeing the action from it. From what I've been able to tell from sh seeing from what we get from the shots. So anyway... The uh, six was pretty hot, and it looks like tonight, which basically uh, the tenth. And you, yes, I'm recording this early a.m. on the eleventh Central Standard Time right here, and uh, we'll go take a look what's going on on the seventh. Let it load up, and. Looks like a pretty pretty on a pretty decent show that night too a little bit but uh, a little bit smaller of course the camera's shooting farther away back the other camera was zoomed in in Alabama and then basically on the six is what I basically first showed that it showed up real good in the same Alabama I think so get out and take a look at the uh, draconius at well, one or something in the morning it's just eastern time and that's usually the 11 something 
UTC back there in uh, England. And basically what it is is Iceland, Ghana, Liberia, Malaysia, Mauritania, Mauritania and Morocco, and in Senegal. Okay, Senegal, and those basically, this that's where UTZ Zulu time is at right now. So that's where all these shots, usually the times you see, it's not our time, it's UTC Zulu time. And it's basically based on Iceland, Ghana, Liberia, Malaysia, those countries, Morocco and Senegal. It's pretty much where the clock starts at to start your day in Zulu time. Okay, so once again, the 10th was pretty darn good for action. And there is one, and two, and three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, and ten, I think. Yep, ten of them. So, ten showed up real good, and some of them way the hell out. And Draconia showed real good, as you can see in the pictures. So... It did fluctuate around a little bit. I can show you from this shot. We can go to like, I think 200. And we can scroll back down through them. We can scroll back up through it. And basically that's what Draconius looked like at about that time. And then that's what it looked like about that time. So as I zoomed in on a couple of those, you can see it pretty good. And otherwise there, it's what it looks like in the sky. And then you'll end up seeing these asteroids fall out of it. So pretty interesting so it's nice to add that they ended up being zooming in on a couple of them close by and there you go again would have been cool to have a zoom in shot on that one there so because that one was pretty much right up there by it so pretty cool so fireball's doing a good job of giving us pretty much everything that comes by and you can go always click on the orbitals to see how far it is out you go to fireball network right there there it is that's your link. Like I say, I don't have time to put all the links all the time. It's pretty easy to put it in for a search and you'll find it. And there it is if you want to write it down. The latest quake was up in Alaska, but we may have had something since then. And yes, we have back down in Puerto Rico, Virgin Island area, 3.4. And we'll scoot and we'll see what happened since the 2.7. There's been a 3.2 also, it looks like, and some other stuff. So, yeah, they draw it back. 3.4, 2.7, yep, so they had some action right there. It's hammering again in Puerto Rico uh, and uh, Virgin Island area. And I can draw it all the way out and let you know that in the last 14 days, there's been a sheep load of shit loads of flipping earthquakes. 6.4 down there. Actually registered like 6.8. Usually anything high is usually about four ticks more on it than what USGS says. So all these quakes all around the world. And basically the big hammering right there. Puerto Rico, Virgin Island area. It's a big string. And then also over in Japan. <clears throat> so keep aware of your area and what's going on. And as you see, there was a 2.7 in the Oklahoma area, Texas, 3.9 up in Canada, Newfoundland area, I believe. So basically, and there's a lot of stuff on the East Coast, too. It just takes a couple of days to register because they don't like to let you see the little quakes that are like 2.1 and 1.7 and stuff that are a lot in the East Coast area. So the freshest is right there, Puerto Rico, Virgin Island area. That's what should be what your moon looks like. All right, so see what kind of difference you see from what you see that it should be, okay? Because just for an example, there you have Jonestown has a...
and Nekaluma has 2.7.